This video is all about being productive in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, being productive in Adobe Premiere Pro can be really difficult. It's really easy to kind of lose your way, especially if you've got thousands of clips, titles, graphics, intros, sound effects, and all that kind of stuff. So in this video, we're gonna focus on little tips and tricks you can do to really up your productivity and get everything just organized so you can be more efficient in your edit. So let's get started. So let's start with number one, and this one's a really important one. This is how to organize your media. So the first and probably the most important step to take is making sure all of your media is separated and put into the right folders before you start your editing. Now you can do this by making bins for each category. So what we found works best for us here and the types of videos that we're doing is having a layout like this. So for this example, in this project, we have our assets and our assets are things like our intro, titles, our graphics and overlays. And then we have a bin for the footage. So here we put all of the stand-ups or headshots in here, which are the studio section of our videos. And then we have a B-roll bin in this folder too. Next, we have an audio bin. And this is where we stick all of our sound effects and the music that we want to use for our video. Oh, by the way, if you need any royalty-free music, make sure to check out the link in the description below to see where we get all of our music from. Depending on your project, these can go a lot deeper, especially if you're working on a short film or an advert. But for us, our videos are quite short, so this works perfectly. And being organized will help you stay productive and makes your whole project a lot more efficient. Number two, let's talk about in and out points. Once you have all of your media organized, now you can begin with figuring out what footage you're actually going to use. And you need to find the start and end points of all of your clips. So you can actually do this in your project bin. Just make sure you have your view on icon view so you can actually see your shot. Now for the magic keys, press the letter I for the in point and then go to the end of the clip. Just find where you want to mark out and then press the letter O for your out point. And then you can either drag this clip directly onto your timeline, or if you want a faster way, simply press the insert shortcut on your keyboard. Getting each clip organized saves you a ton of time cutting within your timeline, and it really helps you avoid being messy and disorganized. So number three, let's talk about keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro. So getting comfortable with your keyboard shortcuts will make you edit so much faster and you'll just get much more efficient. It may take some time to remember all of the shortcuts as there are hundreds, but take your time and the more you use them, the more you'll learn. And if you don't want to keep looking at the shortcut tab in Premiere Pro, you know, we actually make a shortcut keyboard cover and backlit keyboard for Adobe Premiere Pro. And we actually do them for all of the video editing softwares out there. So if you wanna save yourself even more time, check out a link in the description below if you wanna check out one of these keyboard covers or a backlit keyboard. Number four, let's talk about proxies. Now there was a time where I didn't use these, but these can be an absolute lifesaver. So a huge problem that can destroy productivity and really throw me off working at my best is when I have files that are just too big for my computer and for Premiere Pro to really even handle well. Everything just becomes super laggy and I can't tell you how frustrating that is. You've probably dealt with this before in the past. So the best way to solve this is to create proxy files for all of your files and then relink them when your project is done. This will make you much, much more productive due to the huge amount of time that you'll save. Because what a proxy file does, it makes the entire rendering time faster. It makes color grading faster. And overall, you'll just have a much faster project. Now to do this, make sure your project bin is in list view. Highlight all of your clips and then right click and then click create proxies. Now this will create a separate file for all of your clips, but at a much smaller size, making it so much easier to edit. And then when you want to switch back, just simply right click and click reconnect full resolution media. This one, it really is a great productivity tip that will save you a ton of time, especially if you're working on something like a MacBook Pro or a PC laptop that doesn't have a high powered GPU. Definitely use proxy media. 
Now this one isn't specific to Adobe Premiere Pro, but trust me, it will make you much more productive and it's to really organize your work area. Jumping out of the computer for this one, making sure your work area is nicely organized and clean is really just as effective as organizing your folders in Premiere, honestly. A clean workspace with the right stuff around will make you more productive and less stressed too. Just grab a coffee or a drink and treat your area as good as you're going to treat your project. It really, really does help. And you'll be more focused and you'll be banging out those amazing edits in no time. Next up, number six, is just take a break. Now, this isn't spoken about a lot. The mantra at the moment is to work every minute of every day. Just hustle, hustle, hustle. But make sure to take a break every now and again when editing. Spending long sessions staring at a screen will eventually become too much on you. So make sure you give your eyes a rest every now and again, or just go and get some fresh air. I found actually sometimes going back to the edit the following day can really, really help. Sometimes you'll just spot little mistakes you made that you couldn't see the day before just because you were too deep into the edit. So actually going back to your project with fresh eyes really helps. Now this one kind of leads on from this and number seven is just to get off your phone. Put your phone in another room if you don't need it for the project. Social media is definitely one of the biggest productivity killers out there. So if you don't need it, then just turn it off for a few hours or put it in another room. I know it's easier said than done, but just go for it. And also, if you're on an iPhone, check out the new focus modes in iOS 15. You can set these up to come on during work hours or just for small periods of time. They can help prevent apps pinging through or friends calling. It's really worth checking out. So there you go. I hope some of these productivity tips have helped you in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, some of these I know are quite obvious, but just get into that mind frame. Just do this every time you have an Adobe Premiere Pro project and you'll be much more productive. Do you have any productivity tips you'd like to share to the community? Let me know in the comments section below and make sure you check out our other Premiere Pro videos up here or check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.